Okay. We have this is our second attempt at recording the last episode. I saved up my life this time though. If it doesn't work this time, I can actually go talk to Yoshi and get 120 lives. Ow. If I don't manage this, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is not a very good start. It's not a good way to start off your LP, is it? Nope. Well, so we both took pain that time, Bowser. <laughs> you did. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come on you? Oh, baby. Just made that reference. <coughs> oh, 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 Bowser. Who's the big boy now? Oh, Bowser. Who's the big boy now? Who's the big boy now, Bowser? You go, Yoshi. No, I have video saying in this game. Obviously, not playable. Sucks. He's actually in the remake of this game. His playable character is not in the roof anymore. There's a remake of the DS. I love, the, I love the remake a lot more than I do this game, by the way. And I, the only reason I didn't play the remake was because I couldn't. That's the only reason I, did, I didn't. Is because you can't record DS slash 3DS on this thing. If I could have, I would have been playing the DS version instead. I'm just saying. And honestly, if you go on YouTube, you can see on the side by side comparisons. Usually, it's very easy to find comparisons. And a lot of people say like this version more. I don't know why I like this version more. I like the DS version a lot more. Like the controls, yes, they were pretty crappy, but the game itself was amazing and well crafted and just as good as this. Except the more and more, uh, less and more standard and actually more DS standard. They're actually better than this 54 to do. Come here, Bowser. And I like it a lot more because it has more characters to play as than just Mario. You can actually play as Yoshi, Luigi, and Wario in that game. And I like that a lot more than I like this. Mario, you're a good character, man, but just no. I want more people to play as. Oh god, it's gonna rain fire now. I guess I should grab the most rain fire. That's something I've learned over the years. He actually shrinks a little bit up, I didn't notice that. This is actually the best interpretation of Bowser I've ever seen. Just kidding. I was joking, you didn't know. Bowser is a big bell, I've got her twist nowadays. I have a fucking seed! A motherfucking banana! Never seen a motherfucking banana in that position! <coughs> <laughs> oh, there's a little, like, sad face in the explosion. That is beast. I'm just saying. That is the beastiest thing ever. Yeah, Bowser, who you gonna fight now when you dead? Don't see you fist fighting the devil. Oh! Oh, baby! I never actually hit him here in the star. I've, I've, I've done two recordings of this. Wait, it's over? Oh yeah, when you get 120, the star is much, much bigger. And it doesn't count toward your total anymore. But, that is fucking beast! Okay, we did it. Woohoo! Sing with me! We have finished Mario 64! My voice cracked. Hey, this is so heroic. I love the ending of this game. This is the best ending. It is a great ending for a game. It's so triumphant for such a hard game. And I, I respect that. A hard game is a triumphant ending. It's like Kirby 64. The ending sucks in Kirby 64 because it's an easy game. Conquer. The ending's... Actually, I like the ending. Uh, it, it's kind of sad, actually, if you haven't watched the LLP yet. I've never seen this before. Oh my god, Yoshi's in the roof. See him? Ooh, it's my whore! <laughs> Screw you, Josh Jepson, she's my bitch! His lips are the highest lips in the world. I know. Please don't raise this guy. 
Thomas, please don't raise Thomas. Please don't have raise Thomas. <coughs> oh, okay, that is the end of Let's Play Super Mario 64. Oh, I can't control it, dang. So I can, like, walk around and circle them. So here's the ending. She talks. She actually talks, right? I have to read stuff. You have to read stuff. I hope I don't read shit. The palace of stars is the source of attack. Why did you do this through the whole rest of the game? And why does Peach sound like my prostitute? That's all thanks to you. Thank you, Mario. We have to do something special. So you're going to see the 120 stars ending. I don't know what happens if there's anything special for that. Here we go! Listen, everybody. Let's head to the wizard's tent. No way. Watch Mario. Mario. For Mario. Okay. Okay. Wait, this is the best part of the ending. I love this. Wait for it. Look, birds! Look at them all! There's not very many! There's only like 10 of them! And now we have a little run over to the levels. So, epilogue! Ep poopy log! Oh my gosh, yay, oh, it's over. Thank you guys for watching! I love you all. Okay, so I'm gonna have a little epilogue like I did the Conqueror. I'm gonna start doing this from now on. <coughs> what happened? After this game was released, what did Nintendo plan? What did they do? Why is the penguin so freaking fat? Um, oh, that's actually one of the secrets. Well, actually, after this game game came game came out, Nintendo did something that they did two games actually, three games, and one of them is Mario. So I'm not gonna talk about that. Two games they have plans of Mario after this that were gonna be on the N64 as well, and they were supposed to use this general same mechanics as this. Um, neither of them were ever released, though. They made a game called Luigi's Mansion. That was never released on the N64. And they made another game called Super Mario 64 2, which was never released. Luigi's Mansion, obviously, let's be honest here, guys. The reason it wasn't released was because the GameCube just came out when it was finally finished. So they improved the graphics a little bit, and it was the first GameCube game. So, yeah. But with... That, Mario 64 2, a lot of you have actually played it, you probably didn't know this. Um, judging by the gameplay, you probably noticed this, but Super Mario 64 2, let's say the storyline and see if you guys can guess here. What happens is, Mario goes to an island and is accused of painting the island with dirt. Yeah, you've already guessed now. Super Mario 64 2 was released on the GameCube later under a different name of Super Mario Sunshine. Um, what would be considered Super Mario 64 3 was later released on the Wii as Super Mario Galaxy, which I will also be LP. I love both of those games. They're both very awesome. And they're much better than this, to be honest. Just saying. And, you know what? Charles Martinet, you didn't do shit. You barely voiced anything. You said, let's go! Also, um, not Charles Martinet, but the guy... <coughs> I, I learned this recently, and I was actually surprised when I figured this out. I didn't notice this. The guy who voices Mario in the cartoon, if you've ever watched the Mario cartoon before, I, I think everyone has, at least once. Oh, yeah. It's actually more popular than I thought it was. Well, anyways, the guy who voiced Mario in that show is the same dude who voiced Optimus Prime in all the old Transformers cartoons. I never knew that. No one told me that. How did you find out? Wikipedia. That's a reliable source. So, we get a cake. Thank you so much for playing in my game. Let me repeat what he just said. Thank you so much for playing in my game. I love Mario. I love this Charles Martin, that dude. He cannot talk where it's shit. He stutters all the time. You know, there's a Bowser in the background of the chair, if you didn't notice that. Oh, I did. Yeah, I had a little Bowser. And either the game bros. Or you're supposed to turn it off. So I wish you all a happy it's nothing today. So th tomorrow it'll be a nothing as well. We will be playing Banjo Kazooie and goodbye.